Oh boy. Got a fish. Oh. Ooh. How does that feel? Like I could do anything. Are we out of breath? A little bit. I am in pain. All right, it's time to go fishing while pregnant. Wish me some luck, cause I'm, I'm gonna do the damn thing. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. For those of you who've been following the channel, you know that my wife and I are pregnant and that we're having a baby. She's literally over eight months pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. All right, she's pregnant. And sick. But I, I did all the work, right? No. No? But I do all the work now because you can't put your socks on. I can't, she can't even get out of the couch or off the couch by herself. That's kind of true. Yes, and I have to roll her out of bed. And you know, no one feels bad for the husbands in this situation. We're the ones that have to deal with all of this. I would like to see you do the house stuff that I do with this weight. I'm a man. I'm pretty sure I can handle doing the house stuff with the weight. I think we have to test this out. All right, so we got the Saran Wrap. It's actually Publix brand because it's a lot cheaper. And we've got a watermelon here. She's going to wrap the Saran Wrap around my body and pin this watermelon to my belly so that I can walk around with it. So I don't think it's gonna be that difficult. I think I, I think that the women just complain too much. Ow. <laughs> Drop a comment if you agree. Ow. You're yes. gonna sweat. I know I'm gonna sweat, but it'll help me get rid of this. I don't think this. your watermelon's big enough. The watermelon's plenty big enough. <laughs> I'm big enough to get you pregnant. Just wrap around my body. I could do anything. All right, here we go. I still think it needs to be bigger. I think it's big enough. I think I got twins. I think you got the smallest watermelon. Kind of wish I, my watermelon is above average. Kind of wish I had boobs though. First challenge I'll make super easy. Just take the clothes out of the dryer. Be careful not to hurt the baby while you're squatting. What's wrong? My legs hurt. Oh, really? What's all that huffing and puffing about? <laughs> Nothing. You good? I'm good. You need a break? We added some boobs. <laughs> Done. Feels heavier now, though. All right, what do you want the uh, next challenge to be? Okay, challenge number two. Put it on. Your socks and shoes. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Hold on. Why are you kissing your boobs? <laughs> I got this. Come on. I'm trying to get it over my pinky toe. <laughs> can't breathe. You gotta be quicker than that. Are you out of breath? A little oh. bit. It's a shame. <sighs> okay. Wait, wait. They're already pre-tied. I'm a man. That's cheating. What do you think? Is that cheating? I, that's ch so cheating. It's not cheating. That's being ready for all occasions. Okay. One leg is always harder than the other. <laughs> oh, I got it. <sighs> got it. I see your camel toe. Oh. She made me do some stuff around the house, and uh, I can say that it's not as easy with this thing on my belly here. Um, I went easy on 
She went easy on me, but I'll, I'll, I'll make a little less fun of you for now on. I did the stuff around the house, but this is a fishing channel, so it's time to go fishing. Let me go grab my fishing gear, let me go get my daughter who's going to help me film, and I'm going to see you guys at the lake. Alright guys, now I got to get in this truck. Oh, the seat's hot. Oh. All right. I did it. Now, uh, I should take the keys out of my pocket first. Now, it's time to go catch a fish. Let's do this. Let me just throw my Nines optics on. Probably shouldn't drop them on the floor. That way I can see the fish before the fish sees me. All right, so right now I'm trying to figure out where to go fishing with my belly. Ooh, that was my daughter. You guys saw it, I snuck her in. She didn't even realize she's in the last video too. I ain't gonna lie. I'm having a little trouble breathing here. It's like pressing on my stomach and my lungs. I'm not used to having this weight. So. I might have to give my wife a little credit for handling the pregnancy pretty well. I might have to stop making fun of her. This does not look good over here. Oh yeah. yeah. There's two. Ooh, you saw that? If I catch a fish out there, that's crazy. The motion of the fishing is not that bad. It's the uh, standing here and keeping my balance. That's what's making it difficult. Oh. Ugh. I did it. Now, let's catch a fish. Oh, shoot. Do you guys make fun of your wives when they're pregnant? Or you're always uh, perfect little angels? Ooh, you see that? Yeah. Was it a peacock? Yes, it was. You said it. She says it was a peacock. I saw it with my eyes. Oh! Oh, fuck. Okay. This is a horrible challenge because the plastic is slipped because of my sweat all in one band across my back. And today is probably one of the worst days to fish because of all the rain that we've had and the algae bloom and all that going on right now. Uh, so finding a fish, we went to eight or nine locations already and uh, still haven't, ugh. Still haven't gotten a fish to bite. Got two chasers, saw one giant, but the second we walked up, it took off. I do see something right there. So uh, let's turn off the truck. I'm gonna just bring you guys with me. Am I going to get lucky and catch a fish? Am I going to get lucky? Let's go ahead and put this on auto tracking enable. Boom. I'm in so much pain right now, partially because of the weight of the, the thing on my back, but mainly the saran wrap. <laughs> got, got a fish, oh, got one, yeah, oh, this is, oh. Killing my back. Oh shoot, and it spit the hook. Oh my God. All that just bit the hook. Oh, this is painful. This is painful. Ooh, pregnancy fish. Pregnancy fish. Finally, 
all day to catch a fish. I don't want to touch the drag. It's pulling just, just fine, I guess. Come on, pregnancy fish. Now I gotta figure out how to get down here. I didn't take that into consideration. Oh boy. Where do I go down to land this fish? This is all rocks. I definitely don't recommend doing this. I am walking on rocks down here. Uh, don't want nothing to happen to my baby, but I gotta get down lower. Ooh. Whoa. Still not there yet. Still not there yet. All right. Finally got a fish on, guys. But it took me a minute to get down this hill. Figured I'd throw in for one of these orange cichlids. But uh, that's not what bit my hook. Oh, man. Got my cash in rod. Got everything at the real hooker bait and tackle. But man. Ugh. Look at this, pregnant belly and all. I gotta get a little bit tired so that I can bring it up closer to me to try and land. I'm not gonna take them out of the water, I'm just actually gonna de-hook them, but I wanna make sure you guys can see the fish. It's a very, very nice size triploid grass carp. But for those who don't know, these are actually put here intentionally by the FWC in the state of Florida to eat all of this uh, invasive vegetation that's growing in our canal systems. So they're not to be removed from the water and uh, unlike other places, they are non considered non-invasive. So treat them with uh, care if you do catch them. Don't have them out of the water too long and uh, definitely don't drop them. He's starting to go a little belly up, so he's getting a little tired, so let me try and land him. I gotta get by the water for this. Oh, how am I gonna do this with this belly? Oh, just got my shoes wet. I can't see where I could stand on the rocks. I thought I could stand here, but I can't. Let's get over here. This belly is making it hard though. I don't know how I'm gonna get down here. here. Oh, he's just getting me wet. Let's get you. Woo. Let's get you unhooked. Let's get you unhooked. He's still got some fight in him. He's not ready to come up yet. Oh boy. I thought he was ready. Now I'm standing in the water. Come on, buddy. Come on, let's get this hook out of your mouth. My feet are soaked. My feet are absolutely soaked. Let's try and get them up on the shore. I'm not gonna take it out of the water to hold up to the, to the camera or nothing. I'm just gonna take the hook out and let it go. You're almost done, buddy. And he just shot off. All right. That is both what I needed and did not need for this pregnancy fishing challenge. My shoes are soaked. 
Ah. Ooh, and I almost fell in. Okay, let's go here. Oh, yeah. Get my phone. I don't recommend this to anybody. It, it's not that fun, honestly, because I'm in pain. I am in pain. Now, I gotta get a, ooh, up here. Okay, guys, look at this. What a day, way too long. I wanna puke right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video more than I enjoyed filming it. It was an absolute nightmare. It started off fun, you know, but having this thing on for several hours all day in the sun, sweating my butt off, not catching fish was not fun because I'm not doing this challenge again. But if you do like fishing in the outdoors, make sure you hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on right now. This wasn't fun. And if I had to carry this weight around all day and she still works full time, I would not be uh, making as many videos as I'm making because I'm about dead right now. So big shout out to all the pregnant women out there, all the women who uh, are taking care of themselves and doing the right things by their babies. You know, we need more of you out there. But until next time, guys. Oh yeah, dads, do your jobs too, man. Take care of these, these women when they're pregnant. Take care of your wives. Take care of your kids. But on that note, you know, I just wanna say, keep your head up, keep moving forward in tight lines. Zzz.